Um, just beyond 4.30, well, in fact, uh, whew, 10 minutes beyond 4.30 here in the studio on Radio Valley 99.9 FM on a Friday evening, which means it's that... Well, I'm not in the best of health, I need to say, uh, right, so... At about this time in the week, we bring you the show that's called My Mixtape, right? So, not every day, but once in a week, voices of note get up and speak. They tell stories, these voices, you know. Listen up now, listen up to the show for voices that move and voices that shape. This is the show. Uh, this is My Mixtape. Yep, My Mixtape uh, My mixtape here on Radio Valley 99.9 FM. And I realize right off the bat that I am stumbling and fumbling for words, um, <clears throat> bungling up. But there you go, Bum, bungling up quite a bit right now. And there are two reasons for that. First of all, is the fact that I am down with the flu. Um, so I'm not in the best of health. I'm on heavy medication right now. I haven't rested well enough. The second reason is because my guest here today on my mixtape is somebody who I have forbidden from smiling. Because if she smiles, then I melt. <laughs> 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 I, I stumble over my words. Uh, in any case, look, um, here's the thing. Normally, I mean, traditionally, we say we have stars of the big screen, right? Which means film stars. Then we say we have stars of the small screen. Um, that's television, right? Um, but, of course, that's that's changing in these days uh, with the success of, you know, all the TV serials and um, series uh, like Game, Game of Thrones and whatever, you know. Um, TV stars are, in fact, becoming bigger than, than uh, movie stars. Now, you also have stars that come from that, what I like to call the pocket screen, the screen that all of us carry in our pockets. And I think it would be fair to say right now that some of these pocket stars are becoming bigger than the big screen stars. It is my pleasure to welcome onto the show none other than Bhutan's own TikTok queen, Hadoji. Well, thank you so much for having me here. It's it's a great pleasure and um, it's an honor. It's an honor to have me here. I mean, uh, it's an honor for us. <laughs> I have to say that. Uh, and why I say it's an honor. Uh, and by the way, I'll constantly be referring to to her either as La or as uh, Chicky, which is her. Sorry, sorry, Chicky, yeah. right? Chicky, yeah. Chicky is your real name. Yes. Um, so we're going to be talking about how Hadoji came along in <laughs> any case. But let me just say that it's an honor for us as well, because Radio Valley over the last 12 years has gotten 125,000 followers on Facebook, but it took us 12 years. You have more than 120,000 followers on TikTok. And how long did that take you? Two years, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Two years. How is that even possible? You get 120,000. I mean, for, for a Bhutanese personality to, get to, to have that many followers, it's amazing. It's, it's crazy when you, when you think about it. And uh, also, what is it? More than um, 1.2 million likes. If you just need to go to TikTok and then find out. Of course, I don't need to be explaining all of that. All of you have TikTok. You know who La Doji is, right? So yeah, it is our privilege, and it is an honor for us to to have you here. Um, wonderful, really, because I was really looking forward to this. And the other thing that's different about uh, you right now is that normally we've been chasing our guests. We've been trying to get people. We have a list of people, mm -hmm. and we've been trying to get them, and we've been trying to. Um, and some some of them will keep pushing us away and say, okay, I'm not ready, you know, let this happen. Uh, maybe two months from now, maybe three months from now, maybe next week or whatever, you know. So we have that. You, somehow, we missed, we missed you. You weren't within our radar. Um, and all of a sudden, you're, I think it was me, it was me. I was like, hey, what about Ladoji? And then we realized, Wow, I mean, she's such a such a big thing right now. She is the rage, and we totally missed you, you know. Um, so, I think that just kind of explains how sudden mm -hmm. your fame has come. I think was it intended? Um, no, as no, I right? said earlier, yeah, it was never in my plans to 
get popular or get known in that kind of way mm-hmm. yeah it, it was never intended right so it was all accidental how things work <laughs> how this world how mysterious your ways god lord whoever you are up there whatever you are up there if you are up there <laughs> you work in mysterious ways right um but in any case uh, obviously people know the personality hadoji yeah. i need to make this very clear right now to all of you listeners out there to you the listener out there and to you watching on youtube that Hadoji is one person Chiki is quite another we need to make that distinction very clear right i think so yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that smile is the same of course that fantastic <laughs> smile i mean it's probably the the most um i don't know is is a brightening smile it makes me feel good when when i see you smile really <laughs> but right. the smile is the same but the person you have to understand is is very different it's like um you have actors on on in a film mm-hmm. they take on a certain character right mm-hmm. so uh let's say okay tandipeda is acting as a girl called pema in a mm-hmm. film pema is different mm-hmm. and tandipeda is different right and we need to make that very clear right now also hadoji is one thing one person and chiki is quite another mm-hmm. so you will see the real chiki <laughs> come out over here uh and like i said of course the smile is the same but you cannot expect the same mm. vivaciousness the vitality all of that because it's a that that's a character you're playing yeah. right yes oh, all right okay so we just needed to make that very clear because i i, I imagine there are many people out there who are thinking oh she says she'll do some fantastic <laughs> stuff and then all of a sudden this uh, screen uh, the youtube screen there'll be some weird stuff happening there and she'll do her acting and all of that i was hoping for that but let's see. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll think about it anyway uh chiki tell us about a good place to start of course mm-hmm. although i've been talking for 10000 years already <laughs> a good place to start is with what you're doing right now what um, what are you doing yeah uh i'm a full time mom i have okay. a 2 year old son right. but then i kind of uh, go to help my uh, husband at his office part time yeah so yeah people you heard that right all you men out there you heard that right she has a 2 year old son she's been married for 3 years and she has a husband <laughs> so <laughs> Okay, good chips. Take out your hand, good chips. <laughs> anyway, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. So, yeah, that uh that keeps you really busy in life. Okay. Especially when you have a kid, you're really busy. I know, you never I know. know, you know, you cannot keep track of the time mm. and the days that are passing by. So, yeah, that that's what I've been doing lately. I understand, which is why, you know, I'm I understand that motherhood especially to a newborn or or to an infant is the most taxing yes. job in the world you have to understand Definitely. that it's yeah. one of the hardest job you can ever have yeah. yeah and you need to be a professional a thorough professional at it <laughs> yes everybody needs to be a good <laughs> you mother you never thought how to be a mother when you were right. young so it's like you know out of the blue you have to do everything you have to follow your instincts mm. gut and everything when you're a mother <laughs> this is my problem with the education system one of the one of my problems with the education system is all the things that matter in life you're never trained all you're trained to do all you're taught to do and uh, in schools and college is you're taught to be a product mm. you're ready for the job market that's all how you take care of your finances how you take care of your health your personal hygiene uh, how how do you handle your personal relationships how can you be a good family member or a mother all of these important things in life are never taught in school i can't figure that out i i don't know why that is so but i think bhutan just this is something personal to me mm-hmm. see i'll just use this opportunity right to make that comment that bhutan we're small enough i think we can make these changes within our education mm-hmm. system and i did see some of these uh, things changing about our education system um you know some years ago uh, hopefully that that continues in any case okay uh, back to you chiki i'm, I'm okay olha i'm going i'm more comfortable calling you olha because i'm i'm comfortable with that that personality uh, right thank you <laughs> okay right um so you're a full time mom yeah um obviously that is what you need to do mm-hmm. right now yes. and you understand yeah. and i understand that but i am sure there are thousands of people out there of your you know your followers who are, who are thinking how long is this going to continue mm-hmm. um 
any thoughts on that um yeah i'm i'm waiting for him to join the take care okay um and until then i'll have to stick with him right. so after that then i might gonna join the job for like, okay. be a full time okay. worker okay okay yes. so you'll have a, a permanent job so i still job. have like 9 months for that okay um, yes okay. i'm nine months and then he might join a day care soon okay so we still have to wait for a couple of months do you until have i can figure out uh, my future plans okay but so you don't have anything specific in um, mind um not yet my right. husband he he really needs help in his office oh okay so yeah yeah so that's probably yeah, that's uh awesome. what you will be doing yeah. um chiki's husband by the way is um well known again in yeah in the entrepreneurship circle as the water entrepreneur of uh, of tempo yeah basically um his nickname is mote right people <laughs> yes. call people call him mote right yeah <laughs> bright personality um very enterprising in fact uh, last week uh, there was a presentation made by a water filter blah blah i don't know some water system entrepreneur from india and uh, i called up uh, karma yunte of greenaway i messaged him and said hey this is happening you might want to attend because you're an entrepreneur and he says no man that's mote's area i don't want to step into <laughs> his area but i will inform mote so i'll make sure that he's there i hope i hope he was there in any case all right um let's head on then into your playlist uh we have first on your playlist changes by i can't even pronounce that how do you pronounce that I think a lot of a lot of people have some trouble right pronouncing his name it's it's, it's one person's name it's a yeah, yeah it's it's one person's it's, name he, it's x x x tentation tentation yeah yeah that's that's all right is is yeah, is that tentation tentation <laughs> tentation tentation sion okay so it must be french then triple x tentation he's, yeah, he's actually a black oh, he's he's a black yeah, he, yeah but he, He passed away last year. Oh, ah, okay, I didn't know. Was, yeah, he was murdered or something. You have to forgive so. me. I know nothing of pop music. <laughs> yeah. So. No, it, uh, even I knew through TikTok. Okay. And uh, this song kind of became very popular in TikTok, and mm. it kind of touched millions of hearts. I think. Okay. So that's why I kept it on number one playlist. Okay. So I think this song is going to touch so many hearts here as well. Right. Even among the Britney youth. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So all right For then we'll 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 check out this uh, changes by. by xxx tentation and <laughs> and get right back uh, with hadoji all right for those of you who tune in late you're listening to my mixtape here on radio valley 99.9 fm my name is soup um i forgot to introduce my pod operator but it's a formality but i should do it i always need to do it my board operator in c to let thank you very much for being here and for those of you who tune in late please uh, uh, know that my guest today is none other than our bhutan zone very tiktok queen uh, hadoji uh, whose real name by the way is uh, chiki <clears throat> now here's the thing i do not understand much about tiktok mm-hmm. now we're going to get into the dis- discussion about tiktok right um i do not know much about it i know there were some apps uh, that came a- came ab- around uh, before tiktok possibly that kind of um preempted the entry of of uh, tiktok similar like w- w- what was the one that you mentioned a while ago musically musically yeah. right musically is that still around No, I think it got clubbed with TikTok last year. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. See, so, so all these things happen, right? Yeah, we, I don't even know what's what's happening in that in that world. It's an entirely different animal for me. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Um so there have been these these apps, but TikTok is something that I never really got into uh except for a short while, uh sometime last year probably, I think. And I was thinking, okay, This seems kind of interesting but after about a day or two I realized and I decided hmm ah, it's okay now and it's a waste of my time mm-hmm. that that's what I thought I, I'm a person who doesn't watch television also I don't watch TV um because I think that's a waste of time as well but I hardly watch films uh, movies also but once in a while I do so uh this TikTok thing also was kind of like that for me I was thinking like um yeah it's a waste of my time but I did not uninstall the app and there was only one reason for it I said I won't uninstall because I need to watch Ladoji <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, right 
and to think that it wasn't intended at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us how it started for you this TikTok thing. Well, initially I kind of joined musically. Initially it was musically. Mm. Yes, it was uh like I joined like 4 years ago. Okay. 4 years ago and then uh, I wasn't active much then. Uh it was just 2 years ago that I got more active into TikTok and mm. making videos. Um and last year towards August Uh, musically was bought by TikTok and okay. then the name changed to TikTok mm. so that's how i got into TikTok okay and uh, like you, like i said earlier it it was never intended never uh, you know um tried myself to be popular mm-hmm. trying to use that platform it was all out of interest and uh, and i kind of found it more you know fun filled and then it was kind of a you know savior for me especially from boredom and like you said you never know you know the time how the time flies when mm. you're watching tiktok videos so so that's that's how i got into tiktok okay okay um yeah we had a little pre talk before the show um hi and i and uh, that's where we discuss some of these things mm. you know uh yeah and i was as and i was telling you at that time this thing about tiktok is you don't re- last night for example i i wanted to look uh, look up uh, her so you know reorienting myself with her videos and all of that which i think are extremely entertaining by the way i have to really <laughs> oh, admit thank you. you are quite something you are quite something in any case um there i was looking up hadoji and before i knew it i had moved from one video to another to another to another to another and suddenly i looked at the time it was 2 o'clock at night and i was still on tiktok and i was like Whoa, I've spent the major part of what three and a half hours just watching TikTok videos. What about your data? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, exactly. So a lot of my data is going going as well, but yeah. I don't mind I mean, because I'm a YouTube person. I, I watch mm-hmm. a lot of YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. So I watch guitar videos and you know so certain spots that I like. So I don't want like I said I don't watch TV, but I watch a lot of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um so TikTok was was totally for me. as a viewer also it was totally unintended so before i knew it suddenly i realized here is a platform mm. that offers anybody the opportunity to exhibit anything that you're good at so whether it is music yeah or art or some skill that you have or dancing or whatever it is you can use tiktok as a platform yes exactly what do you think makes you popular I think people mostly love my you know love my acting videos. Yeah, acting videos. There there's so many things that you can do on TikTok. Mm. So many videos that you can upload whether it be a singing, whether it be a dancing, acting and cooking, mm. cooking shows, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So my kind of a, you know becoming popular was from the acting mm-hmm. so people kind of loved it maybe and um that's how i started gaining more followers as well mm. and uh more likes obviously i have to say this again um her, that you are obviously very good looking you're very pretty you're very beautiful but I'm on nervous. tiktok <laughs> you know no no but you are also very photogenic <laughs> so on screen you come out as this larger than life person of course i have to also admit that it's your acting definitely mm-hmm. now i'm a bit of an actor myself yes. i act in the films blah blah yeah. i'm a lousy actor but i do know a little bit about acting and this much i can tell you is that you have already understood what we call in acting nuances mm-hmm. nuances this, these are the small little things that you do in It's between bigger. yeah in oh, between okay. words also you know the gestures the little expressions oh, yeah. makes a whole lot of difference mm-hmm. i think what sets you apart mm-hmm. besides your good looks what sets you apart from all these other pretty women out there the butnis women that we have is is one is that your acting ability you do understand nuances um well you should know one truth about tiktok what we have this beauty filter cam yeah 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 so that's, I that's, I that's what you know that's what helps you grow i mean glow actually mm, okay okay camera all right so um, i i yeah, i understand that that's why i said yes you are good looking you are pretty but so are 20000 other women out there on tiktok right yeah. but why is it that only hadoji gets the likes at least in bhutan and this part of the, the world that 
from all the Bhutanese girls out there, why do does Radhuji get most of the likes? The difference, and I'm telling you, is that one is your acting ability. I think <clears throat> you have an understanding of nuances. The other thing, of course, is that you are multi-talented, aren't you? I mean, like I've seen videos where you do the acting stuff, right? And you do this finger stuff and all that also, very convincingly. You dance as well. <laughs> You dance as well, and all of it you 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 do I very well. I am not a good tra- dancer. I mean, all right, but how is no, it that no. on TikTok you look like a fabulous dancer? <laughs> it's it's quite hard to dance, you know. Um, I just mm. practice a lot before I just post mm. a video, but I, right. I still have a long way to go for dancing. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I'm not saying that you, you know, you are on the top <laughs> level of all those dancers. <laughs> They're the people who do some amazing stuff on TikTok. Yes. One of the other things that I like on TikTok is you know the. They show you how mm-hmm. you, you the dance steps mm-hmm. slowly, and then after that, they do the whole entire yes, thing. Yes. Yeah, I love that stuff. Mm-hmm. By the way, and I, I can't dance to save my life either. By the way, I, I'm a useless dancer also. Um, but you do obviously. I mean, like the you do Indian dancers, mm-hmm. you do Western dancers, all of that. I've seen them, and you do you do them pretty well. So the point is, you're saying it takes quite a bit of practice. Yeah, yeah, it does. So here's the thing. Many of you out there, you probably think that you know it's easy to become a star. It takes hard work, no matter what you do. To be good at something, it just doesn't happen out of the blue. You have to put in some hours. You have to put in the hard work, the the ten thousand hours, as they say. You know the expression goes. Um, so you're saying, mm-hmm. of obviously, when you started out with TikTok, it was just fun, mm-hmm. but you've actually had to put in quite a bit of work for every video. More or less. Yeah. Uh, before I post it, I would make like ten, fifteen videos. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the secret. Mm. So if I think that this video is not worth it to post it, I don't post it. Um, I kind of look from a audience point of view as well before I post my videos whether you know I like it myself. I mean whether this video kind of looks okay or not. So if I think that this looks fine, then I just post it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Th- that's the thing. Now you are, like I said, one of the legitimate social media stars that we have uh, in in this country, as unintended as that may have been. But there is a deliberate process, also, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you have to plan, you have to work hard, um, make many edits. Um, It does take drops. a lot of time, right? For one video. And. Ah, uh, that's just what I was thinking. I was, you you said a while ago you're a full time mom, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, right now, which takes a whole lot of uh, time, <laughs> yes. time and energy. And yet you, you have this thought about the people out there who are waiting for your videos, who want to see your new one, you know, and you're thinking about them constantly. <laughs> right? Yeah, one time I kind of completely stopped using TikTok because I wasn't getting time, or mm. I had to concentrate more on other important things. And then suddenly one of my friends, you know, she called. Me saying, you know, they are waiting for your videos, and then I was like, okay, maybe I think I have to, you know, continue making it. So you felt the pressure. Yeah, yeah, you do feel yeah. pressured. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yeah. I mean, like my mixtape right now. Ah, there is one reason why I do it. One reason why I do the show, and it's not because I like to talk. Really, if I got had the choice, I would shut up. I'd like to be sitting in a corner playing a guitar. Let's say, all right. I, it was a mispronunciation. Yes, I meant to say playing a guitar, right? So I'm playing a guitar, <laughs> right? And that's what I'd like to do, and, and I'd be perfectly fine in 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 that place. But there's one reason why I do it, and that's you, you out there, you who is listening right now, you who's watching on on YouTube. That is my primary motivation for doing the show, and I suppose that's kind of how you feel as well. I mean, like. You, you like you said it was unintended and before long you had so many followers and then you feel the pressure of like okay they're out there they're yeah. waiting for yeah. you know the latest it installment is, uh, you know it becomes i mean it's not about you just yourself uh, now that you have so many followers you have to do it for them as well mm. because you keep on receiving so much love you have to give them back mm. so yeah that's that's why i kind of con- you know continue making tiktoks i love what you just said <laughs> because you get so much from them you yeah. need to r- return yeah yeah that's that's true beautiful beautiful um is that 
something that you genuinely feel or are you just giving propaganda or no, you know that's, that's is, that, what is that I smart marketing from my heart, from your heart <laughs> yeah, no? yeah that's yeah i'm glad you feel that way i really am glad you feel that way um and like i said please let's make this distinction hadoji is is one thing chiki is another thing so for her to be able to represent herself as that character hadoji please understand that hadoji is what you see after like she said 14 15 takes uh, yeah 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 very true yeah. <laughs> thank and you and that's and that's the same about you know film actors as well mm-hmm. when we guys come on to the uh, again i'm putting myself in the <laughs> <laughs> film actors but yeah i have done when well, more than 10 10 mm-hmm. films so i suppose i am an actor yeah but but here's the thing when actors come uh, on uh, as whatever character they're portraying they look polished they have that certain character they have nailed down right mm-hmm. and very often we confuse that character with the actual person yeah. right the the actor himself uh, you need to understand that please don't do that that's that's different um even actors look polished and whatever all of that after a great deal of polishing <laughs> right uh which is not to say that you are not worth your salt as a person Chiki. you are you're wonderful yourself <laughs> just you. the very fact that you you right now you said and this is what i w- wanted to point out mm-hmm. the fact that you said right now you need to return the love yes i think that speaks volumes yeah, that yeah. really does speak i hope volumes. so <laughs> yeah and i have that respect really you are a mother you mm-hmm. have a lot of you need to put in your time for your for your child and yet you find the time to you know take out your latest installment so that all those people out there who mm-hmm. waiting for your stuff actually get to see you, get to see you and it makes a difference you have to understand that i am sure there are people out there like me who look at hadoj and say wow she's pretty or oh, all of that yeah yeah but you also contribute to that person's day really every person who watches a video mm-hmm. of hadoj and is uh, all of a sudden finds themselves elated by your smile for example let's say right you are contributing to somebody's life did did do you realize that um not really but then you know if it makes their day then it'll definitely make mine right yeah. the, no that's what i'm saying i mean like we in buddhist we talk about what is it the in buddhism the ripple effect mm-hmm. you live your life right but you also have an effect on people mm-hmm. and they have effects on other people Others. as well So if you can affect even one life mm. and make somebody feel good even for a few seconds who knows within those few seconds of feeling good that person might go and do something good to somebody else and so you have that that ripple, ripple effect and this is the thing about public personalities I don't know whether you understand that or not one of the reasons why as public personalities we have to try and um be as positive as we can yes definitely yeah is is that that you have a ripple effect mm-hmm. and why have a negative one if you can have a positive one right yep okay now typically let's say you are making a video on tiktok oh by the way we haven't even talked about her and her life and all of that we will get to that no problem we still have time but typically when you make a tiktok video let's say an acting mm-hmm. scene <coughs> you are responding to to some uh question said by a voice somewhere out there you hear it on tiktok and mm-hmm. then you are responding to mm-hmm. it what is the process how how do you do it oh how do you select it the, the entire process just try and explain to us because i, I don't know anything about and tiktok how i make videos yeah 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 well it's always a random and spontaneous one um if i like the sound or if i like the music then i just make it you know i i kind of save the sound first and then and then it takes a few days for me to just make one video So I kind of okay. you know I kind of just put it in my brain how to come up with this oh. how to come up with a video for this particular sound and okay. then just try to you know process it out yeah so Okay All right oh, oh, did you see that expression I mean I hope you caught that on on camera yeah That's the kind of stuff that I'm I'm talking about that's the kind of stuff that that we look <laughs> forward to on TikTok they, 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 there was just one eyebrow that went whoo <laughs> twice yeah right now <laughs> that, that's lovely that's really nice uh, so some of these things come naturally to you yeah, yeah, see yeah. now hadoji is coming out the chiki uh, hadoji is coming out good i'm very happy right but in any, in any case um 
What was my question? Now I'm so happy to see that 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 uh, eyebrow twitch. That uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. In any case, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, again, I forgot what I, what I wanted to say. Right? Okay. So you have this process. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually have. It is usually the sound sample that 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 you think is going to determine what what happens. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a sound and uh, kind of you know you have to really feel it okay. before you just make it. And then if you really want to make a good one, mm-hmm. you just have to take time and not just, you know, make it in a ah, very hasty. Okay. Yeah. I think the see that's one of the other things that distinguishes you. I think there are a lot of videos on TikTok mm-hmm. you find it's it's rushed and mm-hmm. yeah, this bad lip syncing yeah. whatever all of that also. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's say you have a dialogue sequence. Um Yeah. involving some How does that happen? You know, you have the screen split in two. Mm-hmm. You're on one side and that's somebody. A, that's called do it. Do it. Yeah, All right. So TikTok do it. How how does that happen? Uh, you just go to that person's video. Okay. And then there's an option where it says do it. Okay. So you just click on that and then two sp- two screens come. Ah. In. Yeah. So then you can put yours. Yeah, my, okay. you can add yours and then that's how it comes out. Okay, so that person's dialogue part it's, will is it's already actually very easy, you know. All right. It's because that you don't use it. Um I think you don't Yeah, that's what. Much I idea just about it. exactly. Yeah. This, so but this app but is the one of the most easiest app you can ever okay. have in your phone. Ah. All right. But it's also very, you know, um I didn't realize it mm. before but then it's getting kind of expensive because of the data charges. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's I mean like I saw so many people commenting, you know, I am finishing my data because of TikTok. I don't want to have TikTok. I want to uninstall TikTok. So Ah, uh, well it depends. I mean like I spend most of my data on YouTube. So I don't have complaints about that. Yeah, if 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 it's worth it then why not yeah, just Yeah, why not? It, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean like I ex- this is very few shows mm-hmm. on YouTube are one hour long. Mm-hmm. This is one hour long and mm-hmm. there's still so many people out there who watch this. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. I need really need to to express my gratitude to all you people out there who watch this stuff on 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 YouTube. Uh, one hour is not easy on on YouTube and and one hour where nothing happens you know and i don't even have your acting skills i can't twitch my eyes i can't do any of that stuff but still i mean like the people out there who listen to the stuff so thank you so much out there right um so it's called a duet is it yeah it's uh, called duet all right um i will explore tiktok maybe you should do it me do it once you know with my video <laughs> or i should do it your video okay All right, we we're making this official. Um <laughs> you just said that right yeah, now how do you use this you said that. One do it. I don't know how that's going to work out. Uh I'm already intimidated by the fact that I'll have to share a screen with you but still yeah, but one do it with it. I'm definitely up for it. Okay. Let's let's see what we can do. Yeah. Um this other areas also where we have little com- commonalities mm-hmm. also and we will get into all of that. Okay. But right now let's head on back into your playlist. Uh the second song is okay. Ah, him be sunke. By Baby Floyd? Yes, Baby Floyd. Okay. Who who's Baby Floyd? It's it's a Bundes band, you know, they're very really young. Know. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yeah, so them. Yeah, upcoming band, yeah. Uh, Baby Floyd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a Bundes band. Yes. All right, so t- tell us about this. Why is this on your playlist? Um, yeah, I I really love this song and um the vocal, the voice and the lyrics, they're, they're very beautiful and uh, and the vocalist he sang it in a very beautiful way okay so it really touched my heart and okay. i it's 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 been in my playlist in my phone as well ah. so i just hope the listeners enjoy the song right i hope the listeners enjoy the yeah. song i also hope that people out there who are in fact members of baby floyd are mm-hmm. listening to this broadcast right now this and this one's for you guys yeah. yeah and and i hope you understand that you know our tiktok queen hadoji uh, <laughs> likes you guys that's that's quite a big thing all right so let's check it out then himbi sunke by baby Floyd. Already back here on Radio Valley 99.9 FM and you're listening to my mixtape My guest today is the only reason why TikTok still exists uh, on my phone or has existed on my phone for the last uh, year or so. Uh Hadoji, pleasure having you here and finally Hadoji is coming out. You know, one of the things that that uh, I was kind of worried about uh, in the initial part of the show was 
okay she's a little mic shy and that's tricky that's not hadoji um i will have to do most of the talking and yeah i have <laughs> done that but i am glad to note that your that vitality is is coming slowly out? coming out oh. yeah it is yeah i told you you'll get uh, warmed up in a while and I'm, I'm, i'm trying my best all right okay and you're doing very well you know, yeah Yeah, yeah, obviously it's not up to your expectations yet, but you're doing very well by the thank, way. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. Obviously now, Chuki, we want to know about you. I think there are 120,000 people out there who want to know who is Hadoji. But more than Hadoji, tell us about Chuki. Who what 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 kind of family you grew up in, where you were born, where you studied, all of that. Um, I'm from East I'm from okay. Michigan, Radi. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm a Mashashup. You're from Radi. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Radi. So, uh I mostly I was born in Tashkan and okay. I was raised born and raised in Tashkan for a couple of years. Okay. Until grade 4 and then I came what, to What what years were these? 1997. Okay. 97. Yeah, 1997 right. to 2000. So, while something. I was Kinsol reporter in Tashkan, you were just born in mm. Radi. So, and i remember biking to to radhi as well so you were, <laughs> you were born when i was a reporter over there. <laughs> okay yeah anyway continue yes yeah uh, i did my entire high school and junior high from uh, baju high secondary school only okay. and uh, i graduated from sherpsa college okay yeah i did my ba in political science and sociology okay so Yeah, I I couldn't join any firm or any offices right after my graduation because of some personal matters. Um and uh that's 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 pretty much my, you know, high okay. school and college. Right. How I how I ended my college life. Okay. So what was the political science, was it? Yes. Okay. Do you remember any of that now? I am um, not so sure <laughs> it's been like four years now no, all right doesn't matter now now you need to know more about water <laughs> yeah i yeah. need to know more about water <laughs> yes because uh, that's probably where you're headed once yes, your son, yes, son heads yes. off to take care mm-hmm. then uh, you will probably be working with your husband mm. with your husband let me say that again <laughs> husband okay uh right uh, obviously don't disrespect by the way uh, we're just joking over it's, here it's all cool all right yeah. okay um yeah so but this name mm-hmm. we know how tiktok happened like you said you were yeah. doing uh, <laughs> my memory what was the name of the app again musically musically mm-hmm. right and then automatically mm-hmm. tiktok happened um and it was all unintended and all of that definitely no doubt but the name itself was that the original name that you decided to go with Hadoji? yeah it was my initial name okay hadoji is the name that i started tiktok or musically with All right, so yeah. Chukil Hamo. Yeah. Or Chukil Ham. Chukil Hamo. Chukil Hamo. I'm a, I have a very typical Shashop name, <laughs> Chukil okay. Hamo. Yeah. No, Chukil Ham is very Western, <laughs> so we have plenty of Chukil Hams. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just that we say it differently. We'll say like yeah, Chukil Ham. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so Some like you'll have a certain Chuki, Choki. Choki. Mine yeah. is Chuki. Chuki. Okay, yes. right. Um, like. Chering Wangmo will be there in Tashigang as well, and then in Mongar. And the only thing is uh, over here in in uh, this side of uh, the country. But usually, where the I'm eastern, you know, the eastern people usually have a different pronunciation for certain exactly. names. Exactly. Yeah. Ours is terrible, by the way. Ours <laughs> is no longer. It is not even uh, Chering Wangmo. We won't even say the full thing. We'll say Chom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true, that's, that's, that's what we'll say. Yeah. We'll say we we'll say Chom. Uh, or if you're Chering them, we'll say Chidem. You know, that's that's what we'll say. Uh, anyway, but uh, so. Chukil Hamo, mm-hmm. you abbreviated the Hamo to La. Ha, right? I just cut it off. And the Doji? Oh, Doji is my husband's name. Okay, <laughs> yes. right, your husband's name. Second name, yes. Say uh, that again, your husband's <laughs> name. All right, okay. Um, yeah. Right. I thought that Doji was your surname, mm, the name that no. uh, your family well, name. I I hope I can add it in the future. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You already have. Everybody knows you as Hadoji. Because it's my son's uh, second name as well. As well, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. It's my surname as well, <laughs> by the way. Finger Tenzin Doji, and Doctor Tenzin is just another Doji, Doji. also <laughs> who's behind the camera right now. Um, he has uh, normally wears a Karmakura T-shirt, just like this one, same color, but with the uh, crisscross Doji. I have that same one as well. I wanted to wear that because you're here on the show. Because yeah, Hadoji is yes. on the show. I, I scoured 
every length and breadth of my <laughs> cupboard i could not find that t-shirt which of my nephews has stolen my t-shirt <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, so as you can see behind me there's the the karma kora yes. t-shirt that i'm wearing right now but the doji one is right here now so that's proof that i uh, have a doji yeah, one doji yeah. t-shirt um this by the way i need to talk briefly about this this is almost there behind me because big shout out to my homies in chamgaon and uh, thimpu central uh, this was drawn by one of my very loyal listeners in uh, chamgaon mm. uh, he picked up a picture from my facebook account and drew this and actually sent it to me all the way from chamgaon mm. wow. so this is in hey thanks so much man dude you know who you are right um, and all you guys over there uh, thank you so much for listening right anyway so i wanted to wear that uh, doji i just uh, just couldn't find it and the only reason like i said was because of the hadoji but we are clear now that that's your husband's name right so i'm going to burn that t-shirt now <laughs> <laughs> no, again no disrespect to your husband yeah. again please if you're listening understand we're just joking over here uh but he must be used to it he has a wife who is the apple of the eye of practically every male here in, in bhutan by the way every red blood <laughs> male <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um so your plans mm-hmm. are to um once your son goes to yeah. take care you will actually be working with the Mongpa Water yeah, Solutions, yeah, right? Yeah. Um and do you think the TikTok thing will continue? Um yeah, because I see so many people, you know, of different age groups who are on TikTok. So I don't have any plan of stopping TikTok. Right. Yeah. Good. I'm so happy to hear that and there are 120,000 people <laughs> who are absolutely re- relieved to hear hear it as well. Um and I imagine there are many other people also mm-hmm. who will be happy beyond the 120,000. Like I said, uh I big fan of yours, but I was not a subscriber or a follower uh until yesterday. I didn't realize that. I mean, you were the only reason I would mm-hmm. check TikTok like I said, but um I wasn't until yesterday I didn't realize that I hadn't actually so I pressed the button yesterday just so that you know I pressed the button Okay <laughs> I'll <I'm> follow you back <laughs> No I, I oh by the way I have a TikTok account I tried once uh because I didn't know how it worked and I just put up a video that you know again I I can't talk about it cuz uh, anyway you know why I told you earlier but uh yeah you can go check it out you will be bored to death <laughs> <laughs> I probably have like 3 or 4 likes on that uh, little small little video that I put up. But yeah, it's it's worth uh, exploring I think. And now that you've mentioned it, mm-hmm. it's a medium that's very easy to yes. explore, right? But here's the thing about TikTok. Many of us would have never known that Hadoji existed mm-hmm. or that there's so many talents out there had it not been for TikTok. Yes, very yeah. true. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing it's, the kind of stuff that people come out with. Yeah. It's 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 a part of me now because mm. of TikTok. You know, people know me. I mm. mean, not everyone, but you know, a few of them know me, and it's all because of TikTok. So okay. I I I am kind of grateful for that. Nice. It's it's yeah. Sometimes it does take away your you know privacy and all, but then mm-hmm. it's 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 a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah, and it's part of the it's part of the package, is it not? <laughs> Once you become a public personality, there is some there are certain sacrifices you have to mm-hmm. make. Um, I wish. I could uh you know walk anywhere uh I try not to think about it by the way I try not to think about it that people know me mm-hmm. um and I for the longest time I have kept that thought aside really consciously I try not to think about it because then it limits what I am how I'm able to live my life I need to be conscious uh, of course I try and project positivity mm-hmm. as much as uh, as much as possible and it's gotten to the point where it's become natural also for me to to just be a, a positive as much as i can so even in my worst moments when i have the biggest private issues of my own um somehow what has helped is that the fact that okay just stay positive man so it has helped him uh, mm-hmm. tremendously and that's so while you make the sacrifice there are uh certain benefits that percolate uh, over time mm-hmm. and you reap those benefits as well i think um speaking of benefits Let's get into the area of of endorsements. Now that you are so popular, I know that there are people out there and organizations um 
social institutions um businesses etc who want hadoji endorsing their services or products and i have seen evidences of of that as well um so that's happening right yeah it is um they there are a few uh people who wants to you know who wants to use my pa- platform to help them um with their business or help promote their products mm-hmm. so i i have been promoting few of few of them and uh i just hope it's helping them okay. and i just hope uh it's reaching people and uh i hope it's becoming known as well i mean their okay. products do you get paid uh, let's talk business here do you get paid yeah a few times i got okay a few other times it was all uh, for goodwill okay <laughs> yeah just um and that's how it works it, that's yeah, how it yeah, works yeah, 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 yeah it's it's, it's uh, yeah uh Yeah. Certain things I do get gifts, you know, certain times, I mean other right. times, yeah. yeah, so. yeah. No, but that's how it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, you have put in a lot of hours. I don't expect anything. I just want to help them, but then they do have a way of, you know, appreciating me and then acknowledging me. So, mm. I just accept what's on my way. You know, uh, for a short period of time, maybe 3 or 4 years, uh, to 2 or 3 years, I think, I used to have the belief that if you're good at something, never do it for free. right right okay uh and but it is again in recent times since last year i think that i realized no sometimes you have to do it for free yes you it really work. yeah yeah uh and if you, if it's something that you believe in mm-hmm. and it's something that requires your support and you can put in that mm-hmm. service do it yeah uh, yeah so the red dot uh, campaign comes mm-hmm. to mind yes. uh, right now because you have this video where you're helping the red dot campaign um tell us about that you know this this red dot campaign because that's the commonality between us i'm a supporter of the red dot campaign yeah, as well yeah me too i want to use this platform to to push that also so anyway yeah um yeah red dot campaign is all about you know the menstrual hygiene and uh, the safe disposal of your sanitary pads and um it was just recently that i i even i became a part of it um um from education i got a call uh, saying that they were you know help them promote with it and in tiktok so i just uh, wanted to create something that's very creative and that's likable by the you know audience and that's uh, kind of catchy as mm-hmm. well so that's how i uh, got into the red dot campaign and made my video uh, it was all you know myself doing the uh, doing making and making that particular video so it was kind of tough at first mm-hmm. but then i managed to you know make it into mm-hmm. a productive one i hope yeah I, i i would agree with you um the red dot campaign by the way is like uh i said a while ago it is uh, a campaign on menstrual hygiene um up until this year they were more concerned about making women understand that you know your monthly period is not a bad thing we have that mentality you know put in through in our heads through generations and generations that it's dirty that um, it, it will bring you bad luck and you know all of that stuff it is absolutely not true in fact scientifically it has proven that menstrual blood actually is very clean it's it's, it's very clean blood it's just now we're talking about the disposal of it mm-hmm. the proper yes. disposal of it uh, especially at a time when we are talking about waste segregation and all of that <laughs> so the red dot campaign right now is uh, forwarding the idea that you have a separate bag yes. for you know to get rid of your pads uh, and you have a red dot on it so when you go we talked about this when when I was uh, interviewing Kamrai Anton of Greenway mm-hmm. by the way so every you know dump truck that comes uh, to your neighborhood will have a separate compartment for the menstrual uh, for the yeah. pads right uh, and that will go separately because if you have a bag that has a red dot they understand immediately that okay mm. that's your menstrual stuff so you, you put it in that one and they can dispose of it in the proper fashion so you don't you don't have dogs you know taking it all over the place which is the tendency these days uh, or has been happening for for quite a while so that's red dot campaign of course uh there are businesses out there also who have approached you and i've seen some videos also where uh you have advertised uh, those uh, establishments as well um now when it comes to a commercial mm-hmm. transaction or a commercial uh, entity then you have to insist that you get paid would you agree 
<clears throat> yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and speaking of which, I need to get rid of this hat and show my balding head. Uh, I'm wearing this because uh, it's it's in an Indian manufacturer of uh, guitars. And uh, as many of you know, I own a fabulous collection of, of guitars. Uh, I love guitars. Now, Hertz is uh, making really good guitars <clears throat> and guitar making technology while it was concentrated in the west uh, of the world uh, for a long time the technology has spread uh, and thanks to to things like the world wide web the technology has spread all over the world so even in india they make some pretty decent guitars and hertz is one of those prime uh, guitar manufacturers um, i am not endorsed by them but i am doing this only because of my interest in guitars um, if you want hertz guitars head on over to uh, the gadgets which is a norset plaza on northern uh, lum all right so but anyway i'm getting rid of this hat uh, i wanted to bring up that matter because look you can have your company's name printed here <laughs> sponsor the show because here's the thing if we get sponsors on the show then it allows us to bring you a good show it allows us to do what we are doing i would imagine it's the same for her as well you know if you get paid for your endeavors mm -hmm. it makes it all the more worthwhile also right and uh that's the beautiful thing about money it helps us do whatever we are good at uh and that's why i would urge anybody out there who's watching youtube right now if you want you can have your company's logo over here you can have your company's logo put up during the the song break all of that sponsor the show whoa whoa all right okay so endorsements i hope will come more your way but here's the thing about you Hadoji, you have a great number of followers, not only in Bhutan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we look at your TikTok videos, we get the idea that you speak Nepali and Hindi very well, um, which may or may not be true. We'll get into that conversation in just a while. For this moment, let's just get onto your playlist, back into your playlist. Midsummer Madness by 88 Rising. Is, is that what the band is called? 88 yes, Rising? Yes. All right, okay. Tell us about this. Why is this on your playlist? Uh, the song is very relatable, you know. It's a very beautiful song. Um, it's going to be very youthful. So, yeah, I, I just love the song as a whole. Okay. So, yeah. All right, okay. So, that's you like the song and yeah. that's why it's there. All yeah. right, fair enough. Let's check it out then. Maybe we like the song as well. Uh, Midsummer Madness by 88 Rising. Okay, back here on uh, my mixtape here on Radio Valley 99.9 FM. My guest uh, here today is none other than uh, the very famous Hadoji of uh, TikTok fame. Uh, right. So, we were talking a while ago about Nepali, Hindi, all of that. Mm -hmm. You have a whole number of followers from this region, uh, this side of the world. And I would imagine that a lot of that is down to the fact that you do many videos in uh, Nepali and Hindi as well. It would appear that uh, you speak very well Tapail in Nepali. Ramrai, Ramrai, Lai, O Khalq, Bolnu Uncha. Or Hindi bhi aapko baut achha se bolne aata hai. Pata hai ki ye sach hai ki nahi. That's not really true because mm. um, I cannot really speak Nepali and Hindi fluently. It's just my lip sync that works well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you ask me questions in Hindi and Nepali, I may be able to answer back in English or Zonka, but I don't know in mm. in their dialect. I don't think I can speak it out. Okay. Yeah, it's just the lip sync, guys. <laughs> See, now, please understand that. All right, uh, people out there, understand that. It's very easy, easy, and the point that I'm trying to make again is that it's very easy to confuse mm -hmm. Hadoji, the TikTok personality, with Chuki, the actual person, yes. yeah, who's who's uh, the person, right? Um, so it's it's actually like you said, it's rehearsed and it's lip sync, yes, lip -sync. and it's somebody else's voice as well, mm -hmm. right? Um, so again, many of us sometimes may be a little um, shocked to hear your actual voice after listening to some of these other um, videos that we see on, on, on TikTok because there's obviously a disparity mm -hmm. um, but that's precisely the point. Do you get people who come to you all of a sudden and say hey, hey I expected something different from you or? Um, not yet because 
people expect a lot of i mean people expect a different me you know mm-hmm. i am a complete different person when i'm on screen okay yeah uh, it's it's something that you have to act mm. so in a reality i i i am kind of a boring person mm. i don't speak much i'm kind of a shy introvert mm. and i cannot really you know uh, uh show what i show on tiktok mm-hmm. so tiktok is something that gives me a platform to showcase something that i cannot as a person mm-hmm. so yeah that's that's why i'm a different person in real and uh, a lot different on tiktok as well i understand perfectly um i suppose uh, it's again i need to equate this to somebody doing um an act an actor performing a role as a character uh the character that you portray may not necessarily be the same kind of person that you actually are yes. right but while that exists how many people do you have like like let's say you're walking down tempo street you need to go uh, get uh, uh, diapers for your for your baby <laughs> yeah. and and uh, how many people uh, does it happen on a regular basis that people come up to you and say hello <gasps> <"Hadoshi!" laughs> um, well it's 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 nothing like that but <coughs> I did have uh, I do have some instances where you know people come up to me saying are you Hatoji and the and then one time I was in Minisu store and there was this um sale person mm-hmm. uh, and she came up to me saying you know showing her showing my videos and saying are you her and then mm. she was like I'm a big fan of you something like that and it was mm. kind of you know I kind of easily shy away from all of all such things all right so yeah So when people ask to take pictures with you I'm sure that happens as well. What do you do? Um yeah, I I just take normal pictures with them. Okay. Okay. It's, so it's you do indulge them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, you I should. Do. You should. Yeah. These people are out there uh and like I said earlier, you affect their lives in ways that possibly you won't even comprehend. <laughs> so obviously the least that you can do is this uh, is yeah, indulge them right yeah, yeah, that's and true. uh take a picture or two it means a lot it's, to it's, many yeah, of I'm, them i'm not a big star but i'm at this grateful that you know people at this come to me saying you know you're doing this you're doing great you know it's it's a great thing for me i i like the fact that you say that you're not a big star but let's not let's not deny it you are a big star <laughs> yeah it's just that uh it's just that you haven't really come out entirely um and of course we're used to saying the word star to people that we see on the big screen right yes um but you have made a foray into films as well reche yeah as <laughs> a film where you acted mm-hmm. and um i want to ask are there future plans uh In no films. as of now but i do have a plan right do people come to you do producers uh, casting directors come up to you say hey we want you in a film yes but unfortunately i had to you know turn them down yeah it's 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 beyond my control it's because of certain factors okay yeah but in future in the future near the future, future. Very near. i would strongly suggest that you do it because you certainly have the acting skills <laughs> now that you have this very great presence uh i can imagine um you know like let's take somebody like like uh, sangeet sitam for example mm-hmm. um mr bhutan uh, people didn't know him as an actor right people knew him as mr bhutan right um but he had this very strong social media presence as well and then when he came out with mm-hmm. singe it was an instant hit Yes. People like myself who hardly watch movies wanted to go and watch Singe. You know, I would imagine that the same mm-hmm. would be true of Hadoji. I think at some point you need to capitalize on on that as well and I'm glad to note that you know you have plans in fact. Yeah. Uh I wish you sincerely I wish you the very best of luck. Thank uh, you so uh, with, much. With that. Yeah. And I I I think uh, you can be uh, quite a success. But please understand that the shelf life mm-hmm. of a female actor mm-hmm. in an industry like ours mm-hmm. is very short yeah time it's is short true, very right true. and youth is ephemeral it's there one minute and it it's gone the next mm-hmm. uh before you long you you become old like yeah, me yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> just right. make you just have to make use of the time yeah make yeah. use good 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 use of time yeah. right um besides all of that is there anything i know tiktok is your passion right 
uh, and you're a full-time mother is there anything out there that really grabs your interest and in, and your imagination or your uh, attention uh, just so that you know your followers out there will know more about you well, yeah, music is something that i really love i i you know music was something that i really wanted to get engaged with okay <laughs> actually not you know into videos and oh, not okay. the acting part okay music is something that i really love do you sing uh i'm not a good singer but i i, I do sing okay all good singers say they're not good singers no 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 i i i'm tra- i'm telling the truth or do, do you play a musical instrument uh i play guitar actually oh, you play i guitar? have a hertz guitar oh you have a hertz yeah, guitar yeah, yeah. there you go hertz what do you know <laughs> has Good a hertz from guitar from that studio so, oh, okay yeah, it's the same place yeah, uh, the, the, same. the gadgets yeah uh okay right and it's a it's a decent guitar by the way it's a decent manufacturer Um, so I have that that one's beautiful I mean okay. the one I have is also beautiful. Uh, nothing compared to the ones <laughs> I have. <laughs> I need to say that because I have I have the best collection in the country. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I may not who knows maybe there's somebody out there uh, who has better guitars than me but yeah I have a fabulous collection and I'm glad to know that you that you play the guitar. Mm. I haven't seen a video of you play guitar though. I'm not so confident to put it on. <laughs> okay, not confident enough. Yeah. All right, uh, but as long as you can strum. Mm-hmm. See, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If you are a girl and usually we, in this side of the world at least we don't see too many female yes. musicians right so if you are a girl and you are as good looking as you then and you have a guitar as long as you can strum a few chords mm-hmm. fine hit yeah not a problem you have the actual music playing uh-huh. and you just pretend to be playing along <laughs> right. you will be fine a lot of pop stars actually do that they know just basic chords mm-hmm. right and you will not even hear the guitar actually when the when this when mm-hmm. they're singing but it's there and it looks good it really looks good so i would think at some point maybe try and explore that as well you know right. because you already play it anyway and uh, the song sample can be something where the guitar doesn't actually appear also yes. you know but but it'll still look good okay or maybe All right, so we're going to do a what's called a duet, is it? Yeah. Okay. Duet. We're going to do a duet. Maybe we'll involve guitars there. Uh, my collection of guitars. Yeah. How's that for <laughs> an idea? Uh, who knows anyway. Uh, but yeah, all right. So now you have future plans. Mm-hmm. You're going to work, mm-hmm. right? Uh, once your son goes to yeah. day school, you're also going to get into films. Hopefully, mm-hmm. we'll see we'll see that. Endorsements will come come their mm-hmm. way. Your social media presence is going to be even stronger, right? I imagine so. Um and most importantly you're going to do a dude do it with me exactly <laughs> yeah, for me that's the most important <laughs> exactly uh, <laughs> i think i'll feature radio valley on okay. my tiktok yeah definitely okay so please yeah give that an, although give you guys are button. already popular and very known yeah it'll be a great thing yeah and me. and it's always nice to put uh, our strengths together mm-hmm. and uh, we can promote you and, and you can promote also. us uh, thank you so much thank you so much please note uh, she used the word ow so um <laughs> because uh, i i saw our song sitem okay. use our so obviously it's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, i don't have a problem with it by the way i i don't have a problem with it just letting it people know out there that okay uh, she used the word ow yeah. uh, at least you didn't say uncle <laughs> uh, <laughs> which i get sometimes by the way which is perfectly fine also i don't have a problem with that um yeah but in any case so you have a lot of future plans out there um and um I imagine you getting more and more popular uh Haduji uh or Chuki. Either way, lucky. Uh, sorry, what did, did I say lucky? I mean, ha. I think it's not Chuki. about being popular but it's about being in, you know, inspiring to the people. Beautifully yeah, put. Yeah. Beautifully put. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's yeah, what it that's is. That's what I realize every day. I mean, mm-hmm. not about popularity but be, about being more inspiring inspiring to the youths and you know to people around all right yeah all right this is your moment now if there is something that you want to tell my listeners out there right now these guys you who's listening right now how do you going to talk to you right now if there's something that you want to tell them anything anything at all anything yeah um like yeah, anything uh, anything uh, about anything well, you could talk about this what you're saying right now about inspiring about affecting other people's lives or anything yeah. or about the red dot campaign anything <laughs> that you want this is your moment right use it well yeah like i said earlier it's not about getting popular or getting known in the community or you know who knows who i mean uh it's all about 
how you're going to inspire people how how you're going to affect other people's life in a positive way and how you can you know um build your own self in a positive way so that other people can look up to you just like um Oh Sang Sitim is one of the person I mean one of the role model that mo- most of the lo- youths look up to so in that way you just have to know what you're made of I mean what your talent is what your light is and you just have to shine and then take the right path in your life um it doesn't really matter whether it be a very small job or a big job or a career that that you have to shine in front of a screen or behind the screen you just have to do what you're good at and people will eventually come to know who you are so that that's what matters in your life so yeah true keep doing what you're best at true and you will also have a lot of people disliking you also definitely yeah. so yeah you just have to know how to balance right yeah right. and not get affected easily by yeah. negativity or um yeah yeah true and here's the other thing once you're working in a public sphere mm-hmm. some how or the other you will rub somebody the wrong way Definitely. somebody will not like what what you did or what you said um uh, things like that happen and especially in a small society like ours you can imagine that a lot of that happens uh but eventually you just have to put your best foot forward yeah. mean the best for everybody intend the best mm-hmm. for everybody and like you said it's not about being popular yeah. it's just about affecting other people's lives in mm-hmm. as positive a way as you can possibly do it and i think you 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 have that right you have that down you know and this is why i was telling you how that you what you're doing may be on that pocket screen but it's affecting so many lives i wish you many 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 more years of productive effect <laughs> on people's lives thank you so and so keep, much <laughs> yeah and keep that keep that beautiful smile always Always. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're done. Uh, it's a wrap here on uh, My Mix Tape Radio Valley 99.9 FM. If you want to know uh, more about uh, Hadoji, where should they go? Do you have a yeah, Facebook page? I have an Instagram. Instagram. Which I'm right. mostly active on. Okay. It's, it's yeah. I need to follow you. What's your name there? Hadoji as well? It's La, yeah. Ha. It's just La? Just All right. Okay. So for those of you who want to follow her on uh, Instagram, that's, uh, how do you spell it? L-H-A? L-H-A. Okay. Simple L-H-A. L-H-A. All right. So check her out on Instagram if you want to know more about her. Of course, if you want to know more about the conversation that transpired earlier this evening uh, and you tuned in late, then you can always catch the rebroadcast. Uh, that's tomorrow and uh, day after tomorrow here on Radio Valley 99.9 FM. Or you can catch the SoundCloud link, which we will share immediately, uh, well, today, I think, uh, on the Radio Valley Facebook page. Or else, those of you who are, and as I imagine there's so many of you out there who want to see Hadoji, then YouTube is the place to go where this show will be put up. And that will be put up in a couple of days' time, I think, uh, two or three days, uh, depending on when. uh doc is able to do, to do that right so in the meantime all of you uh have a good weekend also i need to announce that i will not be here for a couple of weeks uh so we will try and make alternative arrangements for my mixtape i'm going out of the country uh going to go and shoot a uh, truck uh when a dragon roars the film that uh, is about football starring uh, cinchu parb gelson sen gelson shera bhamo and uh, yours truly right so we will be in india doing uh, shooting and i won't be here but uh, as always we'll try and bring you my mixtape possibly with uh, a another host if uh, that is possible um keep listening to radio valley 99.9 fm thank you very much and have a splendid weekend